Chapter 4, Setting the Stage for Solutions So what counts as a Vanu freedom strategy? Basically, any lifestyle change that makes the practitioner more invulnerable to coercion. Rayo offered a number of suggestions, but it's important to keep in mind that Vanu is yours for the making, and that a lifestyle which was Vanu 100 years ago may not be Vanu today. Some lifestyles Vanu today were not possible 100 years ago and may not be Vanu 50 years from now. In other words, there are no silver bullet solutions and Vanu is implemented on an individual basis. What works for me may not work for you and vice versa. It's also important to note that some strategies may not have even been conceived of yet and others may be impossible at present due to technological capabilities, i.e. space study. So let's begin our examination of potential lifestyle changes in pursuance of personal freedom. Chapter 5. Go Gypsy. Now. Nomadic lifestyles seem to be the most efficacious path towards personal freedom and the invulnerability to coercion. If the coercers can find you, they can coerce you. Constantly moving around can serve as one solution to this problem. There are a number of these nomadic lifestyles, each with its own specific obstacles, initial level of investment capital, and other natural barriers to entry. For the freedom pioneer interested in adventure and traveling, nomadic lifestyles may be the answer. In this section, we will cover van nomadism, or vehicle nomadism, more generally, minimalist sailboating, perpetual traveling, wilderness vanu, and mobile intentional communities.